Hello and welcome to Let's Try Beer, where today we're trying Soul Train Peach Tea uh, IPA by Funk Estate in collaboration with Webster's Tea, which sounds really cool and refreshing. Um, I was actually going to test a different beer today, but I was at the gym. Um, I'm feeling pretty, pretty tired. Uh, pretty exhausted, dehydrated, and this sounds like something that's gonna freshen my day up. So that's why I went with this tonight. It's coming at, where are we? Uh, 6.8, 6.8% ABV, which is unexpected. Um, It's from New Zealand. So Funk Estate, they're one I'll be checking out again if this is the kind of flavors they're coming up with. Um, so let's get it out of the can. It's a very funky looking can, by the way. I'll hold it up there for a second so you can see it. Pretty cool. So yeah, here we go. Oh, my goodness, we're foaming up already. Ooh, try not to spill it. looks exactly like peach tea, peach iced tea. That's exactly what, oh, I can smell it from here actually. So let's just dive straight in. Mm. <clears throat> smell wise, um, well first of all we've got a two figure white head. It's very hazy, looks like a peach iced tea. Um, there is peach coming through, a lot of citrus smells coming through, lemon, um, even pineapple. It smells like in there. Orange, orange peach pineapple. Mm. Very citrusy. Um, but it looks really appetizing. If you like peach iced tea, then the look of it will be very, very familiar to you. So I'm gonna jump into the flavor. Let's see what we've got. Cheers, guys. Oh my goodness. Wow. Bit of a shock to the system because I'm not getting much of a tea scent at all. I'm getting more of the citrus smells coming through, but um, wow, as soon as you taste it, the first thing that hits you is the tea, and then it gets quite bitter. You can taste the peach through it. It almost tastes a little bit smoky. There's a very strong tea flavor to that. I wasn't expecting, I was expecting there to be a lot more of the peach in there, a lot more of the fruits coming through, but it's almost like drinking a black tea with mixed with beer. <laughs> That's the only way I can describe it. It's, it's not bad. It's not a bad beer at all, um, but it's, I mean, if you don't drink tea, if you're not really into tea, then no way would you be able to drink this because there's a very strong tea smell coming from this one. I'm trying to see if I can pick it up. Now that I've tasted it, I can smell a bit of the tea now. It's like a tea bag smell. But you wouldn't expect the strong tea flavor that comes with it. It's really unexpected. Not unpleasant, but it's unexpected. It's a bit confusing. I don't know where to start with this one. I was, I mean, 
It's very crisp. Quite decently carbonated. Very thin beer. Um, I expected it to be a little bit more thick, sort of better body to it, but it's quite thin. Um, I don't know about this one. It's weird. It's nice, but like when you take that first sip, it's really off-putting if you're not into tea. I like tea, but that's quite strong. Mm. Getting a little bit easier as you go along, like with any beer, your palate starts to get used to it, change and accept the flavors a little bit more. But I'm not sure on this one. It's definitely not the worst beer I've ever had. The peach is subtle. It is there, of course, but it's subtle compared to the actual tea. It actually is almost as if they've threw tea bags into the beer while brewing it, while it's fermenting or something. <laughs> because it's quite a strong tea flavor. Um, I'm going to give it a rating. Um, I'll give it a 6 out of 10. Uh, if you really, really like tea, then maybe this is the thing for you because it is very strong tea flavor. Uh, I need to keep drinking it because it does change slightly as, as, a, as a drink. It's, it's getting a little bit easier to drink. And a lot, a, a few more flavors are starting to come out. I can definitely taste like an orangey. There's definitely a lemon flavor coming through. Yeah, still overpowered by the tea. I would say it's the overpowered flavor in there. When it starts to settle. Um, you get more of a, a refreshing fruity flavor to your tongue, texture to your tongue almost. But that first sip is really overpowered, powered with tea flavors. Yeah, I'm gonna give it, yeah, I'll give it a six, six out of 10. Not a bad beer, but definitely not the best. I'm not sure if I would get it again. I wouldn't say no if someone offered me, but I don't know if I would pay money for it again. It's okay. Um, and we'll leave it there. Uh, please like the video if you haven't already done so. Subscribe, hit the little bell notification so you know when I'm uploading again for more beer content, more beer videos. And uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching the video. Thank you for joining me today. And until the next time, cheers and goodbye.